Hello, this is Numbers Lesson 8. In this, I will discuss factorial based question. Now, first of all, what is the meaning of factorial? When I say 5 factorial, this is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. You can write it as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. You can write as 5 factorial. Or you can write it as 5 into 4, 3 into 2 into 1 is 3 factorial. 0 factorial is always equals to 1, very important. 1 factorial is 1. 2 factorial, 2 into 1, 2. 3 factorial, 3 into 2 into 1, 6. 4 factorial is 24. 5 factorial, you must know this is 20, 120. 6 factorial is 720. And 7 factorial final is 5040. This straight away you must know. The first concept and the only concept in this is uh, highest power of 2 that divides 10 factorial. Generalize would be, generalized concept would be highest power of prime number p in n factorial. This is a generalized concept. Highest power of prime number p in n factorial. Now how to find this? Can I say 10 factorial is what? 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How many 2's are there? Highest power of 2 means how many 2's are there in 10 factorial? Now can I say that? First I will do, I will first count the multiple of 2 straight away. So multiple of 2, multiple of 2, MO2 stands for multiple of 2's. That would be 10 by 2 straight away 5 multiples of 2 will be there and that many 2's will be there. So first uh, um, 2's will be there in the multiple of 2. Here 1, 2 is here, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. These are the multiple of 2 in this in these numbers there will be at least 1, 2 is there. So number of 2 till now is 5. Next. In multiple of 4, we will find the 2's. The multiple of 4 are how many? 10 by 4. You have to take the quotient. 10 is not completely divisible by 4. You have to take the quotient 2. So 2 multiple of 4 are there in which extra 2's will be there. For example, 4. How many 2's are there? 2 2's are there. 8 extra 2's are there. 3 2's are there. Now, then we have to uh, divide 10 by 8 again the quotient is 1 so multiple of 8 we will again find 2 so where we will find 2's in multiple of 2 in multiple of 4 in multiple of 8 and so on so on so we have if you want to count the number of 2 first we have to take the multiple of 2 then multiple of 2 square and multiple of uh, 2 cube so total we have 5 plus 2 7 plus 1 8 number of 2's are there Number of 2's are 8 and we can count straight away from the top how many 2's are there in 10 factorial. 1, 4 we have 2 2's, 6 we have 1, 8 we have 3, so 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7 and 1 is there. So total number of 2 are 8. We can straight away count this because 10 will contain, will contain 1, 2, 8 will contain 8 will contain uh, 3, 2 and 6 will contain 1, 2 and so on. So, so highest power of 2 in 10 factorial would be answer would be 8. So you can write it as 10 factorial is 2 power 8 into something else. Now in 3 something something. Now in this part there will be no 2's. We have taken all 2's common. So that's the way to calculate the highest power of prime number. So what we have to do, we have to take the multiple of 2 that will be 5. More 2's will be there in the multiple of 4 that is these are 2. More multiples are there in the, uh, more 2's are there in the multiple of 8. Let me take another example that will make this concept very clear to you. For example, we need to calculate the highest power of 3 in 20 factorial. 20 factorial, how many 3's are there? So first we'll count, 3 will be there in the multiple of 3. How many multiple of 3 will be there in 20? 6 multiple because 20 is not completely divisible by 3 you have to take the quotient quotient is 6 so 6 straight away multiple are there for 
three. So number of uh, threes are six. Now more threes will be there in the multiple of three square. That is three square. That is nine. Three square multiple nine eighteen. There will be more threes. So twenty by three square. Twenty by nine. The quotient is two. Is there three cube? Three cube is twenty seven. So no more uh, because three cube multiple is not there. Twenty seven is not there in twenty factorial. So number of three would be six plus two, eight. So number of three or highest power of three in twenty factorial is eight. It means that what is the meaning of highest power? If you divide twenty factorial by three power eight, remainder would be zero. This is completely divisible because the highest power of three. In twenty factorial would be eight. Next is highest power of five in eighty factorial. So first of all, eighty by five. Straight away, how many multiple of five are there? In all those multiple of five, there will be always be five. So sixteen multiple are there. So sixteen fives will be there. More five will be there in multiple of five square. So divide eighty by five square. So eighty by twenty five, twenty five threes are seventy five. So three more five we can found, and there are no five cube multiple is there in eighty. So answer is sixteen plus three. Nineteen fives are there in eighty factorial. Remember this concept. This concept is only applicable. This concept is only applicable when the num four prime numbers. Need to find the highest power of prime numbers. For prime number, highest power. If you want to calculate highest power of prime number, then only this concept is applicable. Next question is highest power of six in thirty factorial. Now, we I told you that that concept I told you is only applicable for to calculate the highest power of prime number. Now six consists of two into three. So it means one six six power one it will be two power one into three power one. It means that we require one two and one three in order to get one six. So I will calculate the highest power HP, highest power of two in thirty factorial. HP O two stands for highest power of two in thirty factorial. How we will find two is a prime number, so thirty by two. How many straight multiple of two are there? That is fifteen. Thirty by two square. The next next two more two will be there in the multiple of four. That is two square. So thirty by four, four seven is a twenty eight. Now next multiple is two cube. Eight eight three is a twenty four. You have to take only quotient. Thirty by two power four. That is sixteen one is a sixteen. Two power five is not there. Two power five is thirty two is not there in the thirty factorial. So how many is Are there fifteen plus seven? Uh, you can say that twenty-two plus four twenty-six. That is the number highest power of two in thirty factorial. Highest power of three in thirty factorial. Again, thirty by three. Straight away, ten multiple of three will be there. So ten three we can straight away count. N more threes will be there in multiple of nine. That is three square. So nine threes are twenty-seven, and there will be One multiple of three cube also. Twenty-seven one. So now highest power of three is fourteen. Now how the number is will be formed? Thirty factorial will be two power twenty-six. That is the highest power of two into three power is how much? Three power fourteen into something else. That will be the prime factorization of thirty factorial. Now we need to count the how many six are there. Now six are formed by one, two, and one, three. So two power twelve into two power fourteen into three power fourteen into something else, which does not contain any two or three. So two power twelve will be as it is. This is two into three. Six power fourteen into something else. So how many six are there? Fourteen. Although we have more twos, extra twos, but we don't have any threes to make six. So highest power of six in thirty factorial would be. Fourteen, fourteen will be your final answer. So very important. The concept I told is only applicable when the number is prime. Next concept is very important. Eighty factorial, eight zero eighty factorial, ends in 
how many zeros it means that if you expand this number and multiply uh, 80 into 79 into 78 and so on till 1 how many zeros will be there can I see the number of zeros at the end is equals to highest power of 10 in any number n let's say highest power of 10 in n any number let's say n factorial you can say that number of zero at the end of n factorial is same as the highest power of 10 in n factorial or this is true for every number not in factorial for example if i say that uh, 7 8 3 2 1 2 3 4 now this number end in 4 0 can i say that this is same as 7 8 3 2 into 10 power 4 so number of zeros at the end this number are 4 and the highest power of 10 is also 4 so very important concept that whenever you need to count the number of zeros at the end you can count the highest power of 10 in this case so how or you can say that how many 10 are there in that number so 10 power 4 and four zeros are same thing so it means that 80 factorial end with how many zeros the question becomes highest power of 10 highest power of 10 in 80 factorial that is the question becomes because the more number of 10 is same as number of zeros 4 10 10 power 4 means 4 zeros so highest power of 10 10 made of 2 into 5 now very important no need to count number of 2's because number of 2 will be so much we only count number of 5 for example I am telling you 80 how many highest power of 2 highest power of 2 in 80 factorial straight away you can see that 80 by 2 40 straight away multiple are there for 2 what about 5 80 by 5 that is 16 more 5 will be there in 5 square 5 square multiple 5 square multiple will be 25 50 and 75 so 3 5 will be there in that and there will be no multiple of 5 cube so 19 highest power of 5 is there in 80 factorial and 2s are more than 40 so can I see that how will I write a number 80 factorial is 2 power more 40 plus whatever it is more than 40 into 5 power 19 into something else 3 7 and so on so on now how many 10 are there 10 is made of 1 power 2, 1 2 and 1 5 so can I say 2 power 19 into 5 power 19 plus some 2 extra 2's 2 power some let's say x remaining into something else so 2 power 19 into 5 power 19 this will become 10 power 19 into 2 power x what is the remaining number of 2's are there into something else so highest power of 10 in 80 factorial is 19 or you can say that the number of 0 at the end of 80 factorial would be 19 1 9 and that will be your final answer very important question so that was all about numbers lesson 8 uh, in the next lesson i will discuss more on factorials thank you